Okay, all right. Here's another limitation. Here's another limitation. And I, I know this beginning of Black History Month. The third limitation is race. Peter emphasized that God will pour out his spirit, watch this, on all people. We don't want to this race thing. We don't want to do that. This separation thing. God, look, God poured his spirit on all people, all people. In the first century, that was the mindset among many Jews that they were God's chosen people and the Gentiles were second class citizens. You're Gentile, and you can never be considered to be equal with us. Among the Gentiles, the same attitude was prevalent to the Jews. You can't deal with us. That was racism. That was then, and guess what? It's still now. Throughout history, people have always been able to find a reason, find a reason to disregard those who are different from themselves. And they've used it as an excuse for slavery and oppression. But God makes the point in Acts chapter 2, as he did many times in the scripture, I'm not just the God of a few, but I'm the God of all humankind. That's not a black heaven and a white heaven and a green heaven. I'm the God of everybody. And we need to remember that it doesn't matter what color you are or what your ethnic heritage is or what your color may be. All people, somebody help me preach, all people are equal in God's people and all people can be used by God in a mighty way. Don't you think because you're not a certain color that God can't use you in a, in a mighty way? Yes, he can. Yeah. I have a dream. <laughs> <laughs> that one thing we all won't recognize, that we all somebody in the eyesight of God. We all somebody. Yeah. That's why the Apostle Paul said there's neither Jew nor Gentile. He was saying, not free. Now that in male or female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Okay. Can I give a, a couple more? It's number 16. The fourth limitation that I see in this, in this, in this text, I'm just looking at all the, the limitation people try to place on you. Now the fourth limitation that's class. Yes. Yeah. See, when the Holy Spirit began speaking through the disciples, the common reaction was this. They were utterly amazed. They were making what? They asked, are all these who are going to speak in Galilee? Huh? Galileans in the first century culture could be compared to, let's say, Country hate folks. The folks that, I, I, well, people, well, listen, when I first came to Minnesota, boy, people, they, they, they knew, oh, you from down south, huh? Yeah. I said, yes, sir, boy, they're from down south. I know I had that certain little twain in my voice. You know what you can get by growing up in Mississippi? Yeah. But guess what? You all got a little party twain, too. I'm not Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> See, Galileans could be, in, in the first century culture could be compared to country folks. They were, they were likely a mixed heritage. They spoke Aramaic with sort of that lazy twang. They lacked the big city sophistication that you would find in Jerusalem. Oh, I didn't have no big city, big city complicated stuff going on. I came from Blue Spring, Mississippi. And I, so they, they was not expected to do certain things. And how many times did I get it? Like, what brought you up this way? <laughs> Same thing got you here. And you a pastor, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How you do that? God. 
See, listen, God took these who were looked down upon, country folks, and God spoke to them, and he continued to speak through them and use them in the years and decades to come to establish his church throughout the world. Here's, here's all I'm trying to get you to see. Don't you look down on somebody because they from Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee. Do that. I'm sick of northern folks doing it. You from Mississippi? I mean, no good things come out of Mississippi. God can use you. I don't care where you come from. I may not have gone to Harvard like you. But I went to the University of Southern Mississippi, USA. <laughs> By way of Alcorn State University. <laughs> and you know, when I first came here, these northern folks had never enough to ask me. I, I showed my teachers.